The MR cardiac analysis workflow contains one general reading and several optional advanced analysis steps depending on the available licenses. This eClip describes the possibilities of using MR flow quantification for quantitative evaluation of phase contrast series velocity parameters. In the patient navigator, you will find that Syngovia has automatically assigned the patient to the MR cardiac analysis workflow once the images are transferred to Syngovia, providing the appropriate workflow assignment rules that have been configured in the administration portal. Alternatively, you can manually assign the patient to the MR cardiac analysis workflow by right mouse clicking on the patient and selecting Open With and choose the appropriate workflow MR Cardiac Analysis. This will assign the study to the workflow and automatically open the study. In MR Cardiac Analysis workflow, all relevant images are automatically loaded into specific workflow steps or can be dragged and dropped with the mouse from the series navigator. Select the workflow step MR Flow Quantification, which will automatically open the Vessel Segmentation step. The Flow Quantification step provides the tools for quantitative evaluation of the flow series. All relevant series should be automatically loaded in the respective segments. If this is not the case, a manual drag and drop will allow you to start processing. The left top segment displays the phase contrast images containing the flow information. The right top segment displays the magnitude images, while the right center segment displays the phase contrast angiolike PCA images. The left bottom segment shows the time flow graph with quantitative results. The bottom right gallery segments show the same images as loaded in above segments. If more than one flow study is acquired and you would like to evaluate, for example, an additional pulmonary artery flow, use the drag and drop functionality from the series navigator to load this respective series into the working segment. In the Vessel Segmentation step, you will find all necessary vessel segmentation tools to obtain quantitative flow results. You are able to evaluate up to four vessels in any single data set, and by default, ROI1 is already active. All you need to do is to scroll through the relevant slices by using the arrow keys, up, down, or the mouse. Choose One-Click Vessel Segmentation. And then, with a click on the appropriate vessel, you can trigger an automated vessel segmentation, and the quantitative flow result of the corresponding vessel is displayed on the time flow graph. You then have the option to click on the ROI2 icon and segment a second vessel. The result segment shows the relevant curves of all defined ROIs, such as the time flow curve or the velocity curve. By clicking on the name of the ROI, you can choose to display or not the curve corresponding to this ROI for comparison purposes. For each ROI, the quantitative result of peak velocity, forward volume, reverse volume, and average flow per minute are displayed below the graph. Editing tools are available if you decide to edit the contours. Pen to define new contours. Nudge tool to correct existing and active contours. Or 
Delete all contours. Optional evaluation tools are available under Evaluation Options. For example, if aliasing is seen on the images due to a measured maximum flow velocity higher than the encoded flow velocity. A higher maximum flow velocity might result in dark or bright spots in the ascending or descending vessels. A click on the VENC anti-aliasing automatically corrects the aliasing. In addition, the stationary tissue mask can be defined automatically or manually using the slider. Additionally, user-defined regions can be manually excluded from the stationary tissue mask, for instance, in case of aliasing artifacts. Click on the Findings details for more comprehensive results. If you would like to invert the polarity of the flow encoding direction for a specific ROI and additionally adapt the results and curve appropriately, click on Mirror Curve. Additionally, you have the possibility to save the results in text format. Simply click on the Save Results as Text and then you have the option to save the results on your desktop or desired drive. Clicking on Create Finding will generate a finding for the selected ROI that is listed in the Findings Navigator. At the same time, the result is automatically added into the patient's report, which can be opened from Patient tab.